Hi guys, I hope that you are doing super, super well. Welcome to another reading, I'm Mystic Love Tarot, and to everyone that is new, welcome to the channel as well. So I thought we we're gonna mix things up a little bit today and we will do their thoughts and their feelings for you. And then we'll just see what's going on with the energy. I, but I thought I'm gonna put a few different decks down for us to use. Now, this is a really neat one. This does a kind of psychic detective work with the answer deck. I've also got Millenoma, um, which are French fortune telling cards. And then I've equally got the tarot. So we're gonna do a bit and, and the dice. So we're gonna do a little bit of mix up of everything. Thoughts, feelings, and will they contact you? Um, so you can separate this as you need to. So we'll get you to pick a tarot deck. That's where we'll start. Um, so this is deck number one, which is the White Newman Tarot. And this is deck number two, this is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. And so I want you to get drawn to the deck that you like the most, that you have a feeling for, that it feels really, really good as you're staring at it. And I'm just gonna get that collective energy from you. And think about your person as you've chosen that deck, go to think about your person and feel it as if it's connecting with the deck. That's lovely. Okay, so we'll start off with deck number one over here. And I'm gonna do, a card on their thoughts, a card on their feelings, and a card on contact. And we are going to set the whole thing up like this. Okay, so we're going to do one of each for all of them. So, can I have a card for their person's thoughts about them? So this is called a blended reading for those of you that are interested. So, thoughts, you have judgment. Feelings, their feelings for you. You have the tower. Eek. Um, and contact, will they contact you? You have strength. Okay, so those are your tarot. Then let's go for the Lenoma. So can I have a card for their thoughts about you, please? Okay, so for those of you that don't know Lenoma, it works very, very differently from tarot. Um, and like I said, it's fortune telling. Thoughts, feelings, and will they contact? Let's have a look. Contact, okay. Then I'm going to pull some dice for you. We do a real setup of fun things going on over here, and I'll explain everything for the blended reading. So, a card for their thoughts, you've got the Three of Pence, a card for their feelings, you've got the Eight of Pence, and a card for will they contact you, you have got the Empress. And then the last one is the Sansa deck. These are, these are really, really cool little psychic detective cards. I know a lot of you asked me to do some psychic detective work for what's going on with your person. And this is one of the decks which is beautiful to use. Um, they are out of print. I don't know how much they are or if you could get them on eBay now, but they are absolutely phenomenal. So can I have a card for their thoughts, Ray? Can I have a card for their feelings for you? And can I have a card for contact? The only problem is they're small, so they can do a bit of jumping, um, handful jumping. Okay, so let's start off with thoughts. So let me show you what you got. You got judgment, you got snake, you've got the fair haired grey woman, and you've also got the three of pence. So right off the bat over here, we've got a bit of a complicated situation going on. Um, now, your person has probably handled the situation in a bit of a negative light for you. And it's possible that ha there has been involvement of other things going on with the three of pence. So this could be perhaps that you, you would know about this if I'm talking to you. So don't, if you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm not talking to you. This is just for select people. It could be that there has been uh, other people involved in the situation. It could be that there are alcohol, drugs, kind of escapism behavior happening. It could be that family are interfering with this situation. Either way, there seems to be a foreign body, so to speak, in your relationship. Sometimes it can just be how they handle situations, but your person, with Snake coming up over here, your person has felt a little bit uneasy with the situation and not sure what to do about it. Now, for those of you that are involved with other people, that other people are involved with your situation, again, could be family. Specifically, we have this fair grey haired woman popping into your energy. So, with judgment as well, this is like a reconciliation. So where your person's thinking at the moment, where their thoughts are, is that the situations took a bit of a turn for a worse, possibly, probably not even to do with you guys, but other people or things have influenced the situation. Could be circumstances. So circumstances have influenced the situation. Your person's probably take a little bit of a push back at you, um, but they have got hope that you guys will reconcile and that things will work out between the two of you. 
So that's what their thoughts are. Um, we've got a bit of a hurricane tornado situation, Spirit saying to me, that your energies are two very, very strong, powerful energies. Um, and sometimes it kind of creates these eruptions and these explosions. Okay, so that's where their thoughts are. They would like to reconcile, but they're just kind of laying low a little bit at the moment because circumstances have made this situation a bit more complicated and equally their behaviour. Um, you know, a little bit of a warning with this, you know, situations can hurt you, can harm you. So I just want to give you that little bit of um, a safety net to say, keep your wits about you with this situation and their thoughts about it. Your person's also worried with snake that they are gonna get hurt from the connection between the two of you. So again, this could be why they've pushed back. But with judgment in the thoughts, this shows that they would like to reconcile with you. So, situation's a bit difficult, but they would like to reconcile in the longer term. Feelings, okay. Eight of pence, over here. Pentacles, for those of you tower. Uh, tower, <laughs> justice and women so remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on the tower uh, on this channel but we can uh, with this kind of fortune telling cards there is a male energy and a female energy so those of you that are watching that aren't quite sure and um, this will be to do with you you will be the woman okay so that is your energy coming in so the feelings for you are here OK, now with the tower and justice, this is saying that difficult situations are kind of falling apart around them. So wherever you are with them, their emotions have been hurt. And we've got the kind of three swords going through his heart over here with the tower. The tower is when situations happen around us. So you can have big T towers, which is like divorces, separations and um, house selling, things not really working in your favour, but massive, massive eruptions and life changes. Or you can have little tea towers, which are arguments, conflict, um, all that kind of energy. OK, so you've got big tea towers or little tea towers. Now, judging from the cards before over the thought process, this is saying that these thoughts that are happening are because these difficult situations have hit you guys. Now, with justice coming up over here, this is talking about fair wills, you know, free will being served, all these difficult karmic energies kind of coming up to a bit of a clearing. And they are just trying to work through their emotions. So they are hurt from the situation. You are in their mind um, and they are just kind of waiting to see what's going to go on. They also feel, Spirit saying to me, that a little bit burdened by their choices, responsibilities and actions. That's what they said. Choices, responsibilities and actions, feeling burdened by that. Now with the eight of pence kind of coming up over the top, this is saying that... Um, they are going to work through it, okay? So their feelings are going to be coming up to the surface and they are going to work for those emotions, but they are feeling quite upset about the situation. Now, the page of swords is also staring at me in the face over here. So I'm going to grab him because he is looking at me. Well, actually, it says princess. She is looking at me. Um, and the pin princess of swords, page of swords, often talks about kind of internet-based communication. So you could have even, like, had an argument on the internet or they are watching what you are up to on social media. So that is coming up up as well okay so that's where the feelings are feelings for you hurt by the situation feeling like the arguments really kind of or whatever the towers have happened between you guys but they are trying to work through it um, and they are socially media social media stalking you okay that's where the feelings are now will they contact you so you've got the empress over here You've got surprise, which we, we, you're going to like. You've got ship, which talks of movement and changes, and you've got strength. So right off the bat, these cards are saying that once it's had a bit of time out over the situation, you will be getting a surprise message. So they will be messaging you. You will be speaking to them again. Timing on that with the Lenorma, you're looking about uh, three or four days to up to about two weeks for you two to have conversation with each other. Um, but it's also the Ten of Spades. So tens equaling endings and new beginnings. So you could find um, that it could take a little bit longer and October being highlighted as a month, okay? We can look at your individual timings on individual readings. If you want to drop me a message, please do so at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. But with a surprise over here, you can see the letter on the floor and you can see the communication between you guys. So it will happen. You will speak again. They've got to get their strength up in the situation for contact to happen. They're just manoeuvring around the situation at the moment. Um, a little bit of distance between you guys, but the surprise comes in with the communication with the Empress. So the commu communicating with you guys. So you will hear from them again. It's not over. It's not do job done, done and dusted. Um, you will speak again.
don't know where, don't know when, but you'll know you'll speak again some summer, Sunday. And that is what the Lenoma is saying. That Well, that is what deck number one says. So let's move on now and do deck number two. Okay, guys, deck number two. It's beautiful because that just, um, I know I've got, when you watch this, I'll put the uh, logo at the front, but the timing on that, just as I said it, is 10-10, uh, which I just said is endings and new beginnings. So I'm going to do what I did with deck number one, and I'm going to do a bit of everything, okay? So we're going to do one card of tarot for their thoughts about you. One card of tarot for their thoughts. We're playing around with decks today. Ace of Cups, those of you that read tarot. One card for their feelings, Ace of Pentacles, I'll cause that. And one card for if they'll contact you. Now, as I'm asking that, if they'll contact you, Spirit actually saying to me that it does feel that there is perhaps already contact going on between you guys. Um, for some of you, anyway. Will they contact? Let's have a look. Will they contact? Okay, Nine of Cups. So you have got good cards at the tarot. Let's go on to the Lenoma. So normally you read Lenoma very, very differently and you read it in sets of three, but I'm going to do these individual cards because um, this is a, the blended reading that we are doing. Thoughts is house, feelings for you is key, and contact with you guys is bird. So far, you've got a good reading. Okay. Let's move on to these. Now, these are a very auspicious deck. Um, I don't think they are on sale anymore, but they are really, really neat. And I do a lot of uh, psychic detective work for you guys. You're like, can you look at this? And can you look at that? Uh, I'm a little bit of a psychic spy on occasions. And this is a deck that I use often for psychic spying. Um, obviously, I have to get permission from the, the, the powers that be. But when I do, I can spy for you. So can I have one card for their thoughts, please? One card for their thoughts about those watching. The only problem with this deck is they're super, super tiny. Um, so sometimes they jump out in, in bulks. So you've, you've got greed. <laughs> in their feelings, you've got good fortune. And in contact, you've got good news and the full. Okay, so the, you're going to look like a good reading. Right, last bit is the dice. So these are Stardust dice. They are pretty neat. Just get a card for your thoughts. They weren't like tarot. Their thoughts, sorry. Knight of Cups. A good, good, uh, good cards on the feelings. Uh, card for thoughts, dice for thoughts. Let's go here. Six of pence and card for contact. Dice for contact uh, is this one. Where's it gone? I just saw it. This one. I picked it up and then I were like, I, I put it back a second and I was like, stupid. This is what I want. Um, okay. Right. Really good cards, really, really good cards. So let's go through it. Thoughts, Ace of Cups, Lenoir, House, Answer Deck, Greed, and Knight of Cups. Your person has got very, very strong thoughts, uh, thoughts about you. They are falling in love with you. They would like a relationship with you. They're a little bit selfish because you are the person that they want to be with. And sometimes that attitude can be a bit sucky because of that, uh, but they can see with House in the middle that they can build a family connection with you. So this is a connection where they feel safe. This is a connection where they feel secure. This is a connection where their emotion, they're very aware of their emotions. This is a connection where your person will communicate their feelings to you. Um, this is a connection where your person can, like I said, can be a little bit selfish, but they're a little bit selfish. Um, some of you guys that will be on the love side of things, on the, on the love side of things, you know. Get what I mean? Some of you, you guys, they might be a little bit selfish lovers in the bedroom. Um, but other than that, the selfishness comes from their emotions, that they want to keep you, that they are in love with you, that they have these strong feelings for you. Even if you're not in contact, your person has got very, very strong feels for you. And I think that's really all you can say on the thoughts. They are actually almost drowning in their emotions for you as well. That's coming up. Very, very strong feelings, very, very strong emotions happening. And, and, and wanting to build, Spirit saying as well, wanting to build a stable relationship for you, with you. Really good cards. Okay, that was their thoughts. Feelings. Ace of Pence. Key, which means success. Good fortune. 
and the six of pants. So all of these are leading to successful feelings, okay? This is showing that they want to build a life with you. They want things to work out with you. Um, they also believe that you should be kind of equal as a team, working equally towards building and establishing goals. Um, great success, significance over here. Um, they don't really feel anything wrong is going to happen with the relationship and they would like to see where it goes with you. Uh, good fortune coming up with the, the horseshoe. This would symbolise marriage. Um, so they are in this for the long term. And with the Ace of Pence as well, it equals that stability and security. Six of Pence is the success of you guys uh, working as a team, working as teammates, building, establishing success going on. Um, and the key also signifying those things. If you're looking for a timing for their feelings, this is happening now, okay? So they are really in that energy of their feelings for you. And I feel that's all we can say on that because your cards are really good. Now, contact, those of you that aren't in contact. So we have, this is the, the dice that come out and it's the hanged man. So you might find that communication with you guys is a little bit stagnant at this point in time, or you're probably getting a little bit and they might be pulling back a little bit. But... Don't panic because your cards are equal in communication. So you've got Nine of Cups, which is your wishes coming true. You've got the Birds, which stands for a couple, partnership, relationship. Sometimes a little bit of gossip, so watch out for those gossip heads, but things moving forward there. The Good News and the Full, talking about new beginnings and that contact coming in with good news. So it's kind of with the hanged man, this is the only icky little sticky bit. It's that it might be a little bit stagnant, but it's shifting in your favour. So you will hear from them. And the timing on that is like, Again, feels to be kind of like a now energy. The Lenoma is a, the, the, the bird symbolizes like a 12 days, but it also symbolizes December as a month for you. Um, but it does feel to me that contact's coming in the kind of immediate future or near future. So if you want to look at your individual timings, give me a shout, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. Uh, it's been super fun. I've loved today. I love playing with loads of different things all in one go. We call that a blended reading. So if you're interested in doing any kind of learning with me, um, I have got some spaces for mentorship this year. Um, so do drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com i've also got readings um voice note readings on instagram or facebook it's only like it's same day or day after turnaround at the moment and they're only 10 pound a question so if you want some of them just give me a shout because we can we can do that super super fast if you want your answer like right now and um, yeah it wouldn't take me that long to get it back to you um video readings are a little bit longer turnaround they're on a 7 to 14 day turnaround at the moment so just give me a shout if you need me I love you guys. Ciao, ciao.